The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Yeah. Man, we're in good moods we're today. We're in good moods All today. Right. Hi, I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, and alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he hates vaginas and loves penises, Mr. J.P. Oh, I got the applause and the fucking watch out. Look you at are this getting shit. good. I'm on this shit, man. My God. And another very funny stand-up comedian. In fact, he's the only one that actually travels and actually does comedy things. Please welcome Mr. Mike Baldwin. Hey. Hi, everybody. Yes. Happy 420, belatedly. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, who got high? Uh, Raise hands. Yeah. That's right. I did, too. <laughs> but I didn't smoke anything. No, you <laughs> ate it. I ate it. Yeah, kid. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, welcome in another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to the, one of these shows, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. JP, if you click that pen one sorry, more man. fucking time, God I'll kill you. Bless. That's uh, why mine's a twisty. Yeah. yeah. No I noise know. at all, but I still get to fidget. <laughs> this <laughs> work is good, man. Uh -huh. Grab like, a twisty. It's right there. Yeah. yeah, but it doesn't work because if you write with it, it just pushes down. Well, there's no writing yeah exactly what are you doing writing uh because this is also a co or an, an adult podcast we like to use foul language make uh, loud Fuck. noises <laughs> and offend people who have very thin skin so if you're one of those people you're in the wrong place get the fuck out of here thank you and goodbye Woo! What a kick off to the show already, boys. I mean, yeah. to tell you. Yeah. yeah, I can tell this is going to be a banger. This is going to be a banger. Turn this up in your headphones, kids. That's right. You're going to want to not want to miss this. Except in mine. Turn mine down. Yeah, because Mike has sensitive, <laughs> sensitive ears. ears. I said a, a th I don't remember if I said this on the, the show, but I said a funny thing on stage the other night. Uh about dating apps and stuff mm -hmm. and how like i'm overweight but i'll still judge somebody else i'll still <laughs> swipe through a dating app and be like no fatties <laughs> and i said that on stage and it actually got a pretty good response <laughs> good and i was that's, surprised yeah that's why there I must laughed. not have been a lot of fatties there <laughs> exactly. you know, but there were but there the were thing. there were a lot of fatties but i even, counted them even they <laughs> laughed at it because they know that they do yeah, the same right. thing when they're swiping they're like no this guy's too fat for me mike's guarding the door about people entering the comedy show and he's just like nope no, not you no nope. absolutely not i have a joke that you will not like <laughs> 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 oh shit uh but no man we've got a lot on this week's episode we've got you know, obviously some current events to go over never have i ever that's where i draw the line questions increment preguntas and as always a good draft and a shitty situation to round things up uh but for what it's worth this is the third episode in a row to have all three of us fourth fourth or third i, I don't third. remember third it's i guess third, i think yeah i think it's third yeah, so I don't know. sorry, Third, everybody. and I'll tell you how I know. Because you're on a four. Because I won the draft <laughs> with me, you, and Derek. That's right. And then I've won it three times with Mike. That's so true. So that would make four. four. Counting today, spoiler alert, I fucking won again. I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's fucking ridiculous. I don't care. <laughs> Good. Honestly. I don't give a fuck if you care. That's, I care. That's what I like about this show is that n none of it really matters. Exactly. Oh, you, it best. may not matter to you, but this is all I got, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyways, we're going to kick this uh, episode off like we always do. Uh, we call it our week, week recap. Uh, we like to tell you what happened to us over the last week. And uh, we always start with a very anticlimactic guy who doesn't do a fucking thing ever, Mr. JP. Man, I really need to get out more. You know what I mean? <laughs> really, I do. Yeah, uh, dude. What the fuck? Man, I can't think of much. Uh, I, that well, I've done. Did um, okay. you conquer uh, some video game tasks? No, I've been playing NHL hockey. 
the oh, new. Oh, okay. Uh, Those are the best. Yeah, I've been playing Those that a lot. Hockey games um, are the fucking best. But yeah, not much other than like, that. Like, the NBA games are, are shit. And then the Madden is the same exact thing for the last, like, 25 years dude they change like two things uh, and it fucks up the whole game yes. and then they're like fuck it release it anyway exactly and we'll fix it in six months absolutely yeah, it's so it's fucking stupid dumb. but everybody buys it so they're like eh, what do I, you know nah. fuck it who cares uh but you know um, that's the noise i make when i decide to sleep with the chubby girl <laughs> <laughs> I'm like nah, you know what right, i was whatever. gonna swipe right but fuck it fuck it uh, but no, uh, I actually did something uh, relating to your week because I'm oh, yeah. assuming you smoked weed, yes, played video games, and bowled. Right? I did all of those, all of those things. So I I ended up in a old Chicago uh, yesterday. By the way, this mm. is a Sunday recording. I love me some old Chicago. Right, okay, dude. just I so y'all know. To, but it's the last couple times I've been, it's been just trash. Dude. Well, I I take that back. It's been a good three or four years since yeah. I've been to one. Oh but. God, it was it was longer than that for me and and. Uh, and somebody suggested, and I was like, oh, all right, sure. So we go into old Chicago, and I'm just sitting up at the bar waiting for these other guys to show up. And what do you have it on ESPN? Fucking bowling. Yeah, man, the world championships are going on right now, world series of bowling. It's and those awesome. guys suck. No, I think you don't. could have beat them. Yes. No, oh, dude, suck, the, no. one of the scores was like 260 to like 255. I mean, that's. Dude, that's really good. That's only missing twice. Okay. Well, like out oh, of 12 frames. You've bro. bowled a 300 before, but that's like, So have they. Oh, I'm sure like, they have. 300 of them. That's like, like watching a football game and being like, why don't they do get that. a touchdown? Yeah. every time <laughs> yeah right it's like, like it's, these there's guys more suck. to it than that yeah i just was looking at the no. final scores i really can't Dude. watch bowling but I, yeah. the, the whole thing uh, is yeah. is anytime i i see a professional bowling thing on espn i'm like there is a 50 50 chance that those guys went to wichita state yeah dude <laughs> it's, it's got like, a great pro it's i mean true. It's it like, is true there's uh, well like a the, lot of Wichita State like products should, out there. I should have some kind of regard for what they do. Yeah, man. Did you go to I Wichita don't. State? I did not. <laughs> but that's but why you, I'm not on TV. But did you start huh. bowling like really young? When I I couldn't even walk. Uh, okay. My parents on right. a bowling alley when we were. And little, you weren't good so. enough to go to Wichita State. I didn't say that. I said I didn't go. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking but, uh, about. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I applied totally. for Harvard. I was, it's not that <laughs> I, I wasn't. I really not, did. Yeah, it's not that I wasn't good enough to go. It was that I wasn't smart enough to go. Oh, that you makes. You see me, what I'm saying? I don't believe that. No. You just didn't have good enough grades. You're very smart, but that's the grades. Yeah, that's why college is a scam. You're probably like me. Like we have great potential, but we don't apply ourselves. Boom. Boom. That's 100 That's why we're right. both comedians. Uh-huh. I'm like, wait, I, all I got to do is talk? Oh, I can do that. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. I can do that for 30 years. 100%. All right. Did you eat anything cool? Did you watch anything cool? I don't say a dick because I know you didn't. Nobody wants you. You watched a dick? No. Oh. Eat, eat a dick. <laughs> uh, no. No, you didn't do anything? I, didn't, I mean. What is wrong with you, man? I really man? don't know, dude. Uh, I really don't know. I've been trying to figure that out for years. So legitimately doing this show is the highlight of your That's week. what I told you. <laughs> That's what I said. I wasn't kidding. Now I understand why you want to help out with the show. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll throw the draft for you this week, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, man. They, they, yeah, I won't even try. I you won't guys either. are pieces of shit, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Well, how about you, Mike? I know you did some comedy. I did do comedy at yeah. Vorshay's. I worked with a dude named Nick Hoff, who was really funny. That's good. Um, as far as eating stuff, I'm doing low carb still, so it's just all been meat shit. Yeah. I got uh, I the first place I go when I go to the grocery store is the clearance meat section. Never get the clearance meat. <laughs> I, oh, um, every that's, time, the dude. It's Never. like it's every gonna, time it's going to expire tomorrow, so you can either cook it today or freeze it today, yeah. and and, it's, and they're full of shit it's, it's not oh yeah it'll last longer because they don't want to get sued exactly. you know exactly uh so yeah so i got some stew meat which is basically like steak cut into little cubes mm-hmm. and then i got some packages of bacon and i wrapped bacon around each individual cube and then i <laughs> yeah baby i broiled it and then flipped it and broiled it it was like crispy on the outside and steak in the middle they were fucking good 
Oh man, that sounds delicious right now. Yeah, you can dip them in like ranch or whatever. That's or way better sauce. than my week. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You're like, You're fuck, me I, all this shit? I ate food too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. JP's eating ramen it wasn't noodles. Bacon wrap, but you know, I, hot I, pockets. I, 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 yeah. That's that's JP's diet. Ramen noodles, hot pockets. And like, like cereal, chicken like nuggies. a big ass bowl of cereal. That's what I <laughs> yeah, see. Dude. Like fruit, fruit loops. That's what you got. I used to really do. I used to eat cereal every night before I went to bed, but now I'm lactose intolerant all of a sudden. Oh, uh, that sucks. Can't do that anymore. Colorblind, yeah. last lactose intolerant. What's gay. not wrong with me? Gay. <laughs> I mean, gay. Basically, yeah. I'm I'm just lucky to be upright at this point. <laughs> yeah. I feel like. And if you fall down all weekend at Bernie's, your ass all the yeah, way back thanks, up man. there. You bet. Appreciate that. Sorry, Mike, to interrupt your the rest of your. Week. I've never that had was anything it. important <laughs> no. to say. Literally, bacon wrapped uh, fucking stew meat I, is. I mowed the lawn at my grandma's house. That's that's I, always. I'm fun. always pretty proud of that. I like. I wish I had my own house so I could mow my own my lawn, lawn and let me tell you, like make it look good. I don't know if you want to. I just mowed my lawn and uh, it. It's not fun. I'm surprised you didn't make your wife do that. <laughs> Why? That's one of my chores. I like mowing. That might be lawns. your only fucking chore. No. What if else? anybody what lives in the Wichita do? area Take and wants the their lawn mowed <laughs> with with your lawn mower, yeah, there you go. I will do it for. Yeah. A, a negotiable price there you go i don't want to say a price because then that's what happened before i made some posters with my a neighbor friend of mine and this dude with like three acres was like 20 bucks huh all right <laughs> and we spent like three days mowing this guy's lawn oh fuck so yeah none of that but yeah, yeah exactly anyway yep we i celebrated 420 Absolutely. every single day of my life and <laughs> Uh, did comedy shows and I had a few things go. Uh, I wouldn't say viral, but uh, close to a million views on Reddit over nice. the over go. the last week. I oh okay. Here's the thing. I uh, I posted this video that was about m me trying meth when I was in high school. Yep, saw that one. And it got it's the highest video I've ever gotten on Facebook. It got like two hundred thousand views on Facebook. Like. Tens of thousands on fucking Instagram, even got like 50 likes on X, which never happens. Mm -hmm. Like, and on TikTok, which is where I get a majority of my views, it didn't go over a hundred. Yeah. And I can't understand, I mean, I can't yeah. understand why, because it's all about cocaine and meth and shit. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I, I mean, I talk about all sorts yeah. of inappropriate shit, and TikTok shows it to everybody. And for whatever reason, I even posted it a second time. So I like, yeah, I, yeah. I probably, Maybe there's a mistake in the yeah. matrix. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm still huh. dumbfounded. Being. Uh, a, a professional at the TikTok algorithm, I can probably tell you that's exactly why. They have the ability to recognize certain words and then actually... Meth is one of them. <laughs> meth or any kind of drugs but what a, are, I mean, are big you would, you would think there would be like counselors and stuff being like, if you're a meth addict or whatever and you yeah. need help, and TikTok's like, nope, they said meth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's how they do it. That's that's how they screen. That's how the algorithm works. There's a good reason. Like one of my funny... One of our funniest videos from like years ago um, it's, it's, has some choice language in it about a particular topic. It's the funniest fucking thing that's, I mean, all three of the people on the show at the time were laughing our asses off. Is it about blowjobs and no cheese or it's whatever? It's definitely not. It's okay. not that one. That one is ridiculous, yeah. but, but it's, it was along the lines of drugs, but it mm. doesn't really matter. Um, but anyways, uh, anything else? Did you do anything else at all? No. No. <laughs> None of you. No. These are the most worthless people on the face of the planet. I Ladies and gentlemen, comedy. comedians. What would you do, man, besides <laughs> golf? Uh, at, you know what? I didn't golf today. Okay. So we're, this I'm is surprised. A, this is a Sunday episode, which I always love the Sunday episodes because we basically get to do whatever the fuck we want and take as long as we want. Um, but no, on uh, uh, Saturday, which uh, in Wichita, Kansas, yesterday, Saturday, 55 degrees. was fucking cold and windy. Yeah. It sucked. Uh, but I got invited to go play golf, and uh, I drove over as much native fucking grass as I possibly Not could. A kid. Not a single person said anything. Well, it's you got the same amazing. course? No, fuck no. Okay, uh, well. No, I'll probably not go to that course for a while, <laughs> just for the off chance that I see that motherfucker again. Um, uh, uh, but no, we, we played uh, here at a city course at Tex Consolver, which is, it, it's not in good shape right now. The greens so were fucking it's probably because everybody's uh, driving all over the driving. fucking grass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Respect and shit. Yeah, no, the greens were aerated, and that's that's the worst. Uh, 
that guy needs to come to that course. Right. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And yell at those yeah. people. Fucking Fuck. get shit in, in order. Yeah. I, I did aerating for a summer. Aerating and verticutting. Yeah. And then I quit in dramatic fashion one day. <laughs> I was just like, I can't do this. It's just, you can't, you can't. I mean, and I played well. I, I shot an 88 on aerated greens, which I, I'm, I'm happy with. No, 85. I apologize. 85 on aerated greens. And so I played really well, but... Um, right, I know. That doesn't sound as good as a 260. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it doesn't, right? That's what the bowlers got. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. You're worse at you golf suck. than they are at bowling. But the Why don't you try to get a 300? The coolest part is is, is uh, I ended up going to a, a local bar here that um, is called Side Pockets. Mm. And it's a pretty fucking big bar. I mean, it's pretty big. Uh, but they're known for having a whole bunch of pool are you, tables. Are you looking at me because he said you? local bar? No, because he said side pockets. <laughs> I go to a bar called back pockets. <laughs> I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the same place. It's not. Oh, okay. No. I, I'm just looking for a nice person with a front pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pass. <laughs> side pockets is like side pocketing. Uh, no, uh, it's it, just it's, pool tables. It's a bunch yeah. of pool tables, but it's kind of the go-to uh, for my my work people after after work on a Friday after we get off we go to side pockets have a couple of beers and so and so it doesn't matter cool that. man I don't uh, uh, there's a reason why I'm bringing this up and, and the main reason why is because I had a I had another listener recognize me at the bar ah oh. and uh, oh my god he, that poor guy actually <laughs> no I've actually ran into him a couple of times before or uh, one other time before stalker, stalker. No, <laughs> definitely I not. ran into him definitely somewhere. Not. No, he's a uh, he's he plays for uh, South Dakota State University. He's a uh, I believe he's a defensive back if I remember correctly. But um, so as you can imagine, he's like six feet tall. So he plays for South Dakota State. What they the fuck's he doing here? They just won the national championship in football this last year. So he's. He, but what's he doing in Wichita? Uh, he's from celebrating. Kansas. He's from, yeah, he's Kansas. from Kansas. Yeah. All right. Um, it's like his version of Mike Tyson going to Disneyland. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm going to Wichita. I'm going to Wichita. Wichita. That's a very famous line from a song by, I believe, uh, who is it? The Black the White Stripes. Stripes. Black Stripes. White Stripes. Black Stripes. White, yeah, White Stripes. Whatever. Uh, but anyways, uh, so it was really cool because I'm I'm there with people that I see every single day being my, my work people, and he comes up and, and have a really good interaction and ends up taking a picture. And so I had I I've seen the kid before and he's awesome he's a great human being, and I sit back down and I'm legitimately at at a table with my like my boss my coworkers my wife and all these people who have never seen this happen never they've never see, they see me every day please and for the love of god people stop making scotty's oh, head bigger it so <laughs> oh, good. for the love of I, god I've, no good kid he, he was actually at the baseball game that jeremy joseph threw out the very first pitch. oh right oh, yeah and cool. it was really fucking neat. he just so happened to be in wichita at the time yeah, and it just so happened that he Crazy. it was really cool yeah man. but Sounds but cool. i cannot tell you how awesome that was for me oh, no. <laughs> short people oh no my two of my co-workers like two of my my bosses are just looking just like mouth dropped like are you fucking kidding me you are such a piece of shit at work and people <laughs> like you and i'm like yeah yeah dude hopefully your me. boss side is hustle. listening now uh no no i used to go to side pockets all the time because they had free poker night oh yeah, oh, yeah. and i let, yeah that's yeah, all. It's a good place. That's all of they, that they're, story. They're one of the only places uh, in Wichita that still have jalapeno cheese balls, and they're fucking phenomenal, and that's why I go there. No. Nope. Uh, so there was that, um, but there was this other thing that I obviously um, – I listen to other podcasts. I obviously don't really listen to ours. I just do it to edit and stuff like that. So I listen to other shows, and one of my favorite shows to every once in a while see clips of is Your Mom's House with Tom Segura and, yeah. and, and, and Push. Yeah. And uh, they brought light to something which I think is an absolute phenomenon, uh, and it made me damn near piss myself laughing so hard. There is a Instagram uh, personality named Caitlin Campbell, who is a, a very overweight uh, small business owner who makes coffee for a living, and she posts all these videos that are really positive and like really fucking like, hey, this is what I do for a day, and it has like video of her going to the gym and lifting the fucking bar and doing stuff and she's obviously like 285 pounds of overweight nothingness and and uh that's not the uh the phenomena the phenomena is everybody hates that chick like the comment section is filled with just delete your fucking account 
Like, I hate you. Sending hate from Wichita, Kansas. Sending hate from Australia. Wow. To the point to where there is no positive comments in this bitch's fucking Instagram. Like, what? it's fucking insane. And I'm just like, this is absolutely hilarious. What's wrong with this lady? Uh, n- Nothing. She just, she looks like, I mean, like a piece of shit. I'm not going to lie. Because <laughs> she's fat. She's fat, short hair, and Ugh. like Harry Potter glasses. Gross. Uh, <laughs> gross. <laughs> and it's so funny because like the ones that are the most popular comments are the the ones that like say are saying hate from hmm. that where I live. So people are actually taking the time out of their lives to leave. That's Just, how fucking I stupid fucking we are you. as a fucking <laughs> as a and, species. But she's probably into it too because oh, she's 100 She obviously loves. She's in bed at night flicking her beans. Everybody <laughs> fucking hates or me. Or she's oh, getting hate money. Hate me. She's probably getting money from interaction. One hundred percent. She I mean, has yeah, to. She yeah. has to because there's like every single post, and it's not just like one. Every single post has over a thousand <laughs> comments, and every Some single one of them is like, "Fuck me. you, you fucking fat cunt." Like oh, every wow. one of them. That's wow. great. And I'm. And I so, thought I was special because of my TikTok. No, no guess, not. guess not. No. So anyway, so she has a new follower, uh, and that's me. Hmm. So I can participate in the fun that everybody else seems to be having because that's you know uh, something I enjoy doing. I don't support online negativity. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. You'll get you'll get over it eventually. Um, but I also uh, I also am am waiting for the final episode of Shogun to come out, which is this Tuesday. So mm-hmm. then I can binge the rest of the fucking season that I wanted to continue to do. Oh, did you watch the what's the fake Star Wars thing on Netflix? No. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Uh, that is one thing I was a really it, big fan of that I am no longer it's a not big real fan of. Star Wars. It's uh, Zack Snyder's thing mm-hmm. where they did the first half. What is the fuck? Oh, Rebel Moon. Mm-mm. No, never even heard of it. Nope. It's pretty good. I, well, the first half was. It's a Zack Snyder movie, so like he's okay. good at that kind of shit. It's on Netflix. And okay. the, the second half just came out on Friday. Oh, okay. And I have yet to watch it. Is it Star Wars related? Not at all, but it's like spaceships and that kind of shit. Yeah. So people are like, eh, it's like what Star Wars would have been if they'd have fucking done it different. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> in. Fuck yeah. I do not like anything new Star Wars at all. Uh, the last, Even the last three movies were shit. Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was my week. Uh, hope <laughs> all of you guys had a great week out there. Um, yeah, now we get to move on to some headlines, which I don't have very many, and we can expand on all of them as much as we want to. Uh, but the first and most important one is uh, the release of the new Detroit Lions football uniforms. Have you seen those? No. Have not. Don't care to. What's wrong with them? Oh, they're fucking fire, dude. They are so sick. And I am purchasing. I, I can't. They, they came out. They, they finally reintroduced the alternate uh, black uniforms. Oh, yeah. With okay. a blue lion's helmet with a black lion. It is sick as shit. It's so fucking cool. And I am going to buy a jersey until I've figured out how much those goddamn things cost. Oh, you're still going to buy one. Oh, I'm still going to buy one, but they're 200 bucks. Oh, wow. man. Holy shit. Dude, you act like that's a lot of money. I mean, it's not, but it's, it's exactly. for, for, a, for a shirt. How much did you pay for the one you're wearing right now? Hundred, hundred bucks, I think. I oh, want to wow. say it was a hundred bucks. <clears throat> and that one looks like shit. So no, I got this. this is, I got this at Kohl's for six ninety nine. This is an actual authentic jersey. Yeah. And and have you have you seen the jersey? The new ones. The new ones. Yeah. That are absolutely They're getting like didn't fucking destroyed. Fucking destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. People are sliding into home. As soon home. as they slide, they're fucked. They're fucked. Yeah. It's like, yeah. And yeah. I can, it's like, oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense because this is one of the old ones and it's fucking thick and yeah. it's great. The yeah. new ones are absolute shit. Um, but yeah, the, the Detroit Lions fucking jerseys are fucking dope. They're, I so can't it's wait. Just cool. Blue and black. That yeah, and they got a they got a, a blue helmet I with mean, a black line and and but they them. have that's that's the black that's the alternative ones yeah. I mean it's fine. That's fucking sick. It I don't, doesn't make I don't me say any of the words that you're saying. Yeah. But, I'm but, just like oh new shirts. They incorporated like two racing stripes down the helmet, which actually is the same kind of racing stripes for a Ford Mustang. Because somebody of Ford Field. Somebody got like a two hundred and sixty thousand dollar bonus for that. Oh their, sure, for like their design. Yeah. Oh which yeah. Is like, Nothing like line line. Yeah. I, I don't care. I designed it. That's fine. I totally don't give a shit. I w- you know what? If you want somebody to design some really cool uniforms, just give me a call. I'll do it for half the price. I don't give a shit. Um, but yeah, there was that. Uh, so I'm really pumped. I'm going to uh, probably have that Jersey by next. I think we episode. spent far too much time on that. We did. 
Um, but did you see the video? I want to move on to uh, Mike Tyson. Did you in the like Logan running Paul. sprints or did whatever? Did you see him running? He he doesn't look like he can run very fast. Like he. It just looks well, like here's a the thing very about, uncoordinated. Well, here's the thing about uh, Mike Whoa. Tyson. I don't think he does a lot of running. Hey, you kind of have you to be You know what in, I mean? You uh, kind of have to be in shape, though. He's in plenty Maybe he's good in shape, good enough man. shape, but I don't, he just doesn't like, run. He, he he used to have to walk with a cane. A lot of people don't realize that. Like, Tyson there's was not, so... There's no part of a boxing match where they're like, all right, on your and mark. And he starts running around <laughs> the ring. <laughs> Even I around the ring. I like, don't know. The ringing of the bell for this fight, Tyson may sprint directly at the motherfucker and just beat the piss out of him. I read somewhere, I haven't verified it, that they have to wear like headgear and shit. No. They're doing it like exhibition style. No. That's not true? No, they're okay. not going to do that. Tyson would never do that. And uh, no, he's not going to let Jake Paul wear headgear either because that would be an advantage. So no, they're not doing that. Okay, good. Do uh, we know if it's going to be free on Netflix yes. or if it's pay-per-view? As far as I know, it will just be on Netflix. And they, and they want as many viewers as possible because they want to shatter the record, which was uh, set by Peacock. Because Peacock has the, the the highest viewership of any live event, and that was the playoff game uh, this last uh, NFL playoffs. Wow. Yeah. So that's what they're trying to shatter is they're trying to do a live stream, which makes me kind of nervous because if there's like some technical difficulties for this particular fight, I'll be pissed the fuck off i feel like tyson's strong enough like even if jake paul blocks a thing like his punch will go through the block and like send the block into the guy's head he's fucked so we have to be like what my common sense would tell me yes i I have but here's the thing i have to be realistic i do understand (laughs) that paul is actually still a boxer i know he is a talented fighter he's knocked out mma guys like they were nothing and and if you fucking knock out uh, tyrone Woodley, that's still a fucking fighter. Fuck Tyrone Woodley, Dude, bring him on. I don't even know who that is. I, he he's he was like he was a champion. Either. He was a UFC champion. He's a good <laughs> but striker. But fucking Jake and Paul he beat, him, beat at, him up at UFC then. or he beat him at boxing. Boxing. He knocked him. Well, I mean that's fucking different. So there's a term in in fighting. Whenever you hit somebody and knock them out, they they go stiff. That's called getting starched, and he starched Tyrone Woodley like fucking night night. And, All right. And so, but still, Tyrone Woodley is like, man, I wish I could kick this guy. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. If I could kick you, <laughs> exactly. you'd be so fucked right now. Oh, 100%. But the thing is, is that I have to be grounded and say, okay, but it's still fucking Mike Tyson. This is the one of the best fighters, arguably, on the face of the planet who has ever lived whenever he was in his prime. But that's also it's what insane. I thought before he him. bit Holyfield's ear off. Yeah, but I don't think that was when he was in his prime because he got Don King as a manager who fucked up his head. And he was obviously hungry. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> they hadn't been feeding him. Right. And, and you know what? Like uh, somebody else made a point to me when we were talking about the fight and saying that like, Tyson will probably be a lot wiser going into this because it, it comes with age. I'm like, well, he is going to be 58 years old. You so don't need to be, be wise to punch someone in the face once and then fucking. It's, Just not leaving himself open, understanding he, that he's 58 years old. And if he gets hit, he can get knocked out because that's the thing that goes with age. That would be the like, that's the history making thing. If he fucking like tags Tyson and knocks his ass out like unconscious. I mean, yeah. that would be the biggest news of the year. Yeah, but I vice, would think. But, but then people will say, yeah, he was knocked out a 60-year-old man who couldn't do that. Right. Yeah, the people would right. still hate Jake Paul. Whether right. If but he loses, way. they're like, what a little bitch. You should have never done it. And but, if he wins, they're like, come on, dude. I was going to say, say but can, 60. You, can you imagine the reverse of that? Can you imagine if Mike Tyson goes in and absolutely beats the shit out of Which a 28-year-old exactly kid? what will happen. And, I mean, uh, that is a legacy that will never yeah. die. You will be a legend forever. Yeah, and that will make a lot of people be like let's go watch his old fights absolutely yeah. see how good he let's let's get a nintendo and, the, and play punch out and that's yeah. the thing that i've been hearing from people is like you have obviously our generation grew up with tyson right so we got to see tyson fight evander holyfield and all of these other great fights and he was a fucking dangerous individual Dude, jesus beast. christ i mean he was a headhunter he would just go in and swing for the fences and knock you the fuck out mm-hmm. um and the buster douglas fight was a complete and total shock that was yeah. the, i think it was like the biggest uh, upset of all time if i remember correctly but like now you have these kids that are growing up let's say that they're 20 22 years old they have never seen mike tyson they don't know who Mike Tyson is. They've never seen 9 11. 
That's true. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> yeah, I know. They've never seen it. Yeah, they'll see another one. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's what shocks me is even that we have all of these YouTube videos of Mike Tyson doing absolutely horrible things to individuals in the ring. And it's like, you still, I mean, I understand, but it's still Mike Tyson. I know he's 58. It's still Mike Tyson. The last thing to go is power. That's the last thing to go. And the next thing to go is, is speed. He's fucking still fast. He's still quicker than shit. I do think that it's a risk for him getting hit. And I think that if he doesn't knock him out in the first two rounds, he's going to probably lose the fight. Do we know how much money he's getting? A lot. But do we know? No. Nobody said I, yet. I mean, they may have, but I don't know. I have no idea what it is. Hmm. But anyways, so hopefully that's a great fight. I hope Tyson absolutely takes his fucking head off. Me too. Um, Who is Cam Boozer? Tell Cam, me about that guy. That was going to move on to baseball. Cam, it's a really fucking good story. Cam, Cam Boozer is now a pitcher for the Boston Red Sox. He actually quit baseball seven years ago. Um, he never he, he tried to go into minor leagues. He never advanced past single A ball, um, and it's still it's still impressive to get invited to a minor league system. That's still awesome. But if you don't make it past single A ball within like the first three or four years, then your career is normally washed up. Uh, so he decided to go home uh, back to Seattle and start building like doing construction work with his dad. And then he started playing independent baseball, which is not affiliated with any actual major league team. And just this last week, it was a really awesome thing. He got to pitch in his very first major league baseball game. He plays for the Red Sox, and he recorded the very last out, and uh, Red Sox won. So it was just a huge fucking like journey. For, I mean, it, it's, it's a fucking great story. Baseball, in yeah. my opinion, yeah. is the hardest sport to, to play professionally. It really is. Um, and the fact that this dude was, was like – out of it and then played for fun at an independent league and then ends up getting on a major league team later. It's just, it's a great fucking story. So my hat's off to Cam Boozer. That's a fucking great story. Uh, but I think the story that everybody is talking about <laughs> <laughs> in social what media, I, it's all fucking, it is fucking hilarious. Oh. We always made the joke. And I think it's just, it's a great way to just bring it all back around. What's the joke? The joke was, is that when Caitlin Clark gets drafted to a WNBA team, she's going to make thousands, thousands of, of dollars. dollars. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Like 70 something thousand a year or something no, like it's, that? So basically she, her contract that she is going to sign uh, with, I believe it's the Indianapolis fever. I don't watch WNBA, so I don't know what state it is, but She's uh, she's gonna make three hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars over a four year period of time. Which wow! It, and I know it's an incorporate or it's it's like inflected. So one year she makes this much, the next year she makes more, and then the, but it doesn't matter if you average it out. That's eighty four thousand dollars a year. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> shit. I mean, for me, oh, shit, dude. these guys are making fucking yeah, but eighty four thousand dollars a minute. I was gonna say people compare the NBA and the WNBA oh, the same God. way that people compare like men and women. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we get it. Yeah, but WNBA, no, we get it. But I mean, it's like we get it, Don Draper. I'm not saying. I'm saying the opposite of what you're saying. Like mm. they try to make it like it's they're the same. I can't believe they're not uh, like making as much money. And it's like they're not even close to the same thing. No. Like no. Popularity not. wise, talent wise, like if they would put the rim at like eight feet, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. then I could see it getting <laughs> more exciting. Yeah. You know? I I will watch it in a few years when it's all dudes. Yeah, exactly, because then it'll be somewhat entertaining. No, but the thing is, she's also going to get, and I know she's getting a Nike contract for like $8 million. I get it. They shouldn't but even this pay him in funny. money, dude. Huh? They should just pay him in appliances. <laughs> like vacuums and dishwashers uh, and you microwaves. Know, microwaves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you played a good game. Now, now a, make me some dinner, now, bitch. Now go shampoo my carpets. You watch your bonus pots and pans set. <laughs> Fucking shit. Stainless steel cutlery. Oh, God That's pretty damn funny. Oh, uh, fucking hell. But no, I think it's absolutely hilarious. I mean, I do think that oh. she's going to probably have a little bit of a of a kick up for the WNBA. 
Yeah, but then for it, sure. But then it's going to fucking yeah. calm the fuck down. She'll make so. all her money in endorsements I, anyway. A hundred percent. And she will. $8 million, Like, that just yeah, seems like uh, money laundering. But kind of. Where Nike's yeah. like, all right, we're, we got to Well, I see the what they're trying dollars. to do. They're trying to push women's basketball. And I think that's, you know, great. I hope that, that if, if you are one of those people who really supports that feminist movement, then why don't you spend your money and go to the fucking games? Because that's what they need in order for it to be popular, in order for these, these women to make the amount of money that the guys get they need to basically sell merchandise and sell tickets to go and watch them that is how you want to do this so you just sitting there sitting in the corner clapping and going go caitlin go you it's not gonna do a fucking thing so and and you got to watch the games too so they need to dress them hotter yeah jesus you know what I, oh. I, I can tell you Bikini right now basketball. the last thing I ever want to see in my entire life is Brittany Griner yeah, in a fucking yeah, two dude. piece swimsuit. You don't know what you're saying there, that buddy. Is a, that is a mistake. That is so a mistake. I guess step one is they need hotter players. Yeah, there we go. I, I mean, I could get on that, but if you <clears> tell me it's like, oh, today is bikini night for the WNBA, I'm just like, nah, I'm good. I want to say he doesn't have a point, but <laughs> have you heard of this banana ball? Oh, 100%. What? Those guys are fucking hot. That, um, what? Per, oh, those guys are all fucking oh, hot. You, you mean, you on mean, purpose. yeah, the Savannah Bananas. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're, they're baseball. The whole players. league. That's the they're same. All hot. No, they're the same dudes. It's the same two teams. They in, they interchange players. No, man. Yes. No. There's like yes. four or five teams. No, there's two teams. Are you serious? Yes. It's Just the, those pink guys? The Savannah the bananas. bananas and the party Why animals. are there only two? Because they're actually... That's Okay, now no, I No, 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 no. It's now actually I'm cool. back to not having a... No, no, you should, because it's actually a really cool thing. It's the most brilliant thing in minor league baseball history, in my personal opinion. Why don't they have more teams? Because it's a, it's, it's a show. Why don't they expand it? It's a show. So why don't they expand it? I there's mean, only so many guys are willing to fucking... Pretty much, yeah. These guys... We, we should a lot do that. Of, uh, I'm down. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. I'd fucking play for the Banana bananas, one hundred percent. But no, they do bikini bowling. Yeah, exactly, JP. (laughs) I do. (laughs) Get yourself in a speedo and go out there and do it. I uh, come on, come on out tomorrow night and watch me bowl. See what happens, (laughs) buddy. Now I don't want to. Uh, I'm good. If you had said it earlier in the conversation, I'd be like, sure, buddy. I'll watch you. I'll support you. Yeah. So the way the Savannah Bananas and the Party Animals work out is they they have their they have their lineups and they go city to city to city to city to put on this show and it's a great thing. They actually legitimately do like play baseball, but the rules are different. So like if they if they hit a foul ball and a fan catches it, then it's they're out. And I think that's brilliant. It's and and they, uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great it's fucking, fucking story. It's fucking fun to watch. Absolutely. That's baseball, but bitch. A, but you know, fan, now that you mention it, I never have seen anybody but those two teams. Those are the two teams. If a fan fumbles and drops the ball, then they're not they're out. Not, not out. out. Yeah. But it's still a foul. It's still a foul yeah. ball. Yeah. That's a, that's an interesting it's, twist. It's and they really get, cool. they get, like, bonus points for, like, tricks and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, it, it's, it's really It's neat. pretty cool, man. It actually is really fun to watch. I've always been upset that the NBA never went on with, what was the Nintendo game? NBA oh, Jam, NBA Jam. Like yeah. I would, I would love to see a just a random circle light oh. up on the on the basketball court, and it's like, all right, if you make it from here yeah. in the next thirty seconds, you get ten points, or yeah. whatever the case. Okay, so they kind of try to do something similar to that. Uh, with like NBA Jam because that's where the idea actually came from and it was mm-hmm. called Slam Ball. They put trampolines on the fucking court. Well, that's not even <laughs> close to what I'm saying. I, I don't, don't know. want trampolines. You've I seen just NBA want Jam floor. Where the guy goes clear up all the way into the rafters, comes down and slams it down. That was the boom yeah. shaka Boom shaka <laughs> Fuck yeah, that was awesome. He's on fire. Oh, God. I fucking miss NBA Jam. That's great. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's headlines. Uh, yeah. Appreciate uh, all of you guys sending me stuff uh, for other stuff because I had to find those and they were kind of hard. I know there was a lot of other shit that's happened. A ton of shit. With the last like two days uh, or the next two days that we will already have recorded the show is generally when the breaking news fucking comes out. <laughs> the show is being recorded so on tune Sunday. In next week. So Monday and to Tuesday, what we thought about it. shit's going to hit the fan. World War Three has broken out already and it's going to go crazy. Yeah. Could be. Not possibly. Uh, but now we can move on to uh, the fun parts of every single episode. Uh, we get to kick this off with Never Have I Ever. Guys, thank you so very much for participating in Monday, Friday. There was tons and tons of suggestions, a lot of good ones, and a lot of duplicates. There's definitely been some that 
we have obviously done before uh, at nauseum. And so I have started, especially on Facebook, to – and I like every comment just so I, so you know that I've seen it. But if it's one that we've already done before, I leave you the care emoji because – I care because you haven't watched every single episode we've done. You fucks. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, but we're going <laughs> to kick this off with never have I ever. Oh, and one last thing. <clears throat> we haven't done overrated or underrated in maybe 20 episodes. I appreciate it, but stop sending me suggestions for those because we're not going to do it for a while. You Anyways. Know, I didn't even consider that until just now. And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a thing. It was and a thing. And now it's not anymore. Weird. Yeah. Uh, but the first one comes in from William Speed. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever got prepared to lift something heavy and threw myself back because it was very light. I've never done that, but I've definitely played a prank on my wife acting like a box is heavy and then throw it at her and yeah. watch her fucking freak out. Yeah. You know, I've I done I, that. I've, I've done that to people. Yeah. That's, that's fun. Like have a fucking like hollowed out bowling ball that's lighter than shit and like just toss it at somebody. Toss it at somebody. <laughs> How about you? Have you done that before? No, I mean I've done the thing where I you, something like you look at it and you're like fuck yeah this is gonna suck and then it's really light yeah but I've never like. I fell once trying to start a lawnmower and the. <laughs> The sh- the rope wasn't fully attached, so I just pulled it and it just came out in my hands. I've done that, but I broke the string broke. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and I've fallen over. I've done that. I have done that. Very similar to this question, but it, it reminds me about it. You ever walk down a, uh, like some stairs and think that you're you got one step left, and, and you, do you, that you, you do that weird that weird thing. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I did do that. A I lot. did worse, <laughs> and you fall uh, a over a couple weeks ago. I thought I was at the bottom, but I wasn't. <laughs> and I fell down like three stairs, just like really fast into the wall face first. Uh, and I was like looking around. I was like, thank God nobody was in the living room. Nobody saw that. I but. do that walking upstairs sometimes where you uh, and Joe Biden, I'll stop thinking for like a, a millisecond. Sleepy Mike. And <laughs> Like my leg just doesn't do what I, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I got to like take yeah. a second yeah. and be like, nope, now we're Wait putting a this one here. <laughs> I got more confident in synthetic meats than having our president walk up or down a flight of stairs. Uh, next one, we're going to move on to Dawson Glover. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever told someone a complete made-up story in hopes that they will spread it. Oh, 100%. 100%? Oh, more than once. I can't remember than once. making one up. A, I, I had friends that made up a story about me in high school, yeah. and I didn't know about it. Like. I got I it connected to the meth joke I was telling earlier. Yeah. I went through a meth phase for a few months when I was like 15 and I got busted spring break of my sophomore year. So everybody was out of school the whole week and then we came back to school and I was sober at that point. I'd been busted. I'm still grounded. Yeah. All this stuff. And <laughs> so my friend Bob, who was Robbie my freshman year, but he decided to change his name over the summer. And he was like, I'm Bob now. But that's all unrelated. Uh, he decided that it would be funny to tell everybody that while we were on spring break, I got caught masturbating by my mom and she made me go to counseling for it. Oh, that's a good one. But that I was really sensitive about it, so not to talk to me about it directly. Yes! So there were a few people that were like, hey, man, I heard what happened. Like, that sucks, you know? And I was like, <laughs> I know thinking, it does yeah, suck, no but I'm getting through, you know, one day at a time. and. Eh, whatever. I'll never masturbate again. He told me like a year after we graduated, like, oh, yeah, did nobody ever tell you that? Like, everybody thought that you got busted jerking off and had to go to counseling <laughs> for it. And I was like, nobody ever told me. And he was like, yeah, we told him specifically not to talk to you about it because you were embarrassed. That's fucking awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, but like, uh, like rumors in high school. How did we get there? <laughs> from that question because well, like, it was a completely awesome, made, right. up story. made up story yeah. to, to help somebody spreads it like yeah. i don't know you ever been dumped by a chick and then you tell them it's because they dumped you because you told them their pussy looks different what <laughs> no. no that vagina looks weird 
Yeah, they all do. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, some of them are are artful. I did not do that. I did not do that. But a friend of mine totally did that in high yeah, school. Oh yeah. Funny. Oh yeah. He got dumped by a chick, and then was and like to save his like ego, right. he was like, she dumped me because I told her her pussy looked like like weird, like bologna sandwich lips or some shit oh, like that. Man. I'm like, oh wow, bologna sandwich. Lips. I hate <laughs> roast, that. Roast beef sandwich. I hate Nobody, that. Roast beef sandwich. It's never good. Yeah. Anyways, that reminds me of That's Nikki a- Glazer's joke about how her vagina looks like a hastily packed suitcase. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's good shit. She's awesome. She says trying to find my clit is like a, a fingering through a what are those things called with all the phone Rolodex. numbers? A Rolodex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good shit. Yeah, she's that's, funny. That's a good joke. She's a funny, uh, like, I just think of her as a funny comedian. There's yeah. some comics that I'm like, man, yeah, for a chick, you know, yeah. not bad. Oh, yeah. Nikki's just funny comic. Yeah, she's funny. Next one comes in from Nick uh, Poirier. He wants to know, never have I ever hit a car in a parking lot and took off. Uh, nope. Yeah. You did? I, I absolutely. I did on purpose once. <laughs> okay. We were at a Chiefs game. We were all tailgating. We ended up having to park in the grass. We were drunk as fuck, drinking like Everclear and that kind of stuff. Oh, and shit. Still to this day, I don't know why, but I got in my car, my mom's car that I was driving. Perfect. Got Not in, yours. put it in drive, drove directly into the car in front of me, put it in reverse, and just parked again and got back out. And everybody was like, what the fuck did you do that for? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> What the fuck? I don't remember, dude. I don't know. I don't. That's why I don't drink wow. anymore. Because I would do random shit like that that's and just crazy. think it was a good idea. So we have a parking lot here in Wichita. It's the worst parking lot in the entire city. It's uh, it's over by a Chipotle, and it's in this small like parking lot. But there's two restaurants, haircut places, UPS store, and so it's always fucking packed. But what a lot of people decide to do is they go get their Chipotle or food, and then they go and sit in their car and eat it for their lunch so they can go back to work. I decided to do that one day, and it was fucking hilarious. I saw a truck that was backing into a parking lot or parking spot hit another car, realized they hit the other car, and instead of like saying something or telling somebody they pulled out of the parking spot went and found another one and parked in that and then went inside to go and get their shit Uh, what a fucking douchebag thing to do yeah if i and if i would have saw the person who they hit i would have said something but they never came out so anyways i wouldn't have said anything i would have i avoid confrontation at all costs sometimes i like it you know it sometimes it just makes you feel alive uh, next one uh, comes in from uh, B1 Battle Droid. I bet that's not his real name. It's probably not. I don't know. I don't know. It's getting kind of crazy. It's Could 2020, be. 2024 Could nowadays. Be. Depends on how old he is. Never know. Uh, but anyway, it could be. Uh, but anyway, uh, he wants to know uh, never have I ever had to shit in a porta potty at an extremely crowded event. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> and it is have. the fucking worst, man. <laughs> Oh, it is the worst. But I, sometimes you get to that point where you're like, all right, sitting in here is better than feeling like this. It's hard to put. You got to put your hands on either side. Of, no. Because you can't sit. <laughs> you so just got to like hold yourself like a gymnast on a fucking pommel horse. <laughs> Yeah, no, if I'm using a public toilet seat at all, there's a good three minute process that I need to clean before I sit down. Sure. On it. Yeah. And maybe once or twice it's been like, fuck it, clean it. I got to go right now. But yeah. well, that's a waste most of the of time, time. I'm like, I'm like, all right, toilet paper. Let's get the seat. If there's piss on it or whatever, let's lift the seat, get the piss under the seat. Cause I don't want water fucking. But do you remember? I don't want liquid touching me at all. But do you remember what we talked about last week? What? You basically locked it in a booth with a bunch of fucking floating shit emojis everywhere. Yeah. Oh, I know. I mean, so it doesn't matter how much. Anything that you can smell, that thing is now inside your brain. You know how porta potties smell. So, yeah. Jesus. Fantastic. Clean all you want. (laughs) (laughs) I've never done that. 
I've never had to go to the bathroom uh, so bad that I used a porta potty. Only, I've definitely taken a piss in a porta yeah, potty, but I've well, yeah. never had. To I've shit. only had to do it once, man. It's at the state fair. God, it was horrible. And that's how you know is because you can remember it. That's a that's a oh, memory yeah. that will I never will leave never. Your yeah, head. dude. I <laughs> yeah. still remember the sounds of oh, the fucking rides shit. Oh. and shit outside the. I mean, <laughs> this, yeah, I remember everything about it. I remember the fucking exact cop car that was parked <laughs> on the other side of it, like catty cornered because i was thought about smoking some weed when i went in there and uh, then i was like all oh, way i'll go back to the car god but the yeah, porta potty dude. smell would have covered up any weed uh, smell a hundred percent can you imagine can you imagine <laughs> going to like peeing in the porta potty but your next because porta potties are in like a like a group right yeah and you hear the next door oh, porta yeah, potty, and that. somebody is just lighting it the fuck up That's yeah and you all um, and you get out and you're like, I want to see what this person looks like that was doing <laughs> Yeah, that. right. You just wait there. Fuck it. The and rides will wait. This sh- is entertaining. It's sure as shit. Oh, it's, it's a fat person. It's a, Every time. No, no. It's a hot chick. It's a oh, 10 no. out of I've 10. I've never seen uh, that. Oh, no, a, I haven't either. I've oh, never seen that. I don't want oh, that dude. to happen. Absolutely. Uh, That'll ruin your fucking uh, weekend. Hot girls don't poop. <laughs> That's, That's right. True. They sure don't. It just disappears Absolutely. in their body. That's right. Uh, next one. Last one comes in from Chase Golden. He wants to know, never have I ever hooked up with someone knowing it was a bad idea basically every, every time yeah i was yeah. gonna say every time i've hooked up with somebody every ex-girlfriend or every yeah. ex i've ever had oh, yeah. except for my wife that's the only one that was a great idea yeah there you go all right well that is never have i ever now we get to move on to that's where i draw the line this is jp's favorites part of every single episode i like I this first question this one's good uh this comes in Feels from personal yeah this one comes <laughs> in from chad i believe it's dagley uh chad wants to know where do you draw the line how many golfers driving their carts on the green does it take to piss you off one 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 motherfucker but run over all the fucking native grass you want all you want <laughs> my yeah. answer is not gonna in- hurt my feelings infinity yeah, when we went golf, I, I wouldn't. There's no amount of drivers on the <laughs> green that would make me be like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" <laughs> I'd just be like, "Yeah, whatever." Well, yeah, I don't know what you guys are I even doing. I wouldn't give a shit either. Uh, I don't golf. I'm yeah. also I'm, but I'm also the golfer that I'm not gonna go up and say something. I, I just won't unless I've been said something too. That's that was the whole situation with that story. Mm-hmm. If if I see somebody, it was his dr- fault. If I see somebody drive their golf fault. cart up onto the green. I'm not the guy that's going to get into my golf cart, drive up to them and say, hey, hey, you need to stop doing that. That's not, you're not supposed to, I'm not going to be that guy. But if you come over and bitch at me for doing something and then you do something that's 10 times more fucked up, then yes, I'm going to fucking tell you about it. Basically, what I feel like you're saying is, Bobby Brown was in the right and Whitney deserved it. <laughs> I mean, basically, that's what you're saying. I mean, that I bitch know. shouldn't have said what she said. I don't know how you even argue against yeah. that. Yeah, uh, funny. No, I'm like, I wouldn't say anything to people during most. I'm like 50 50, maybe not even that good on when there's a line and somebody just walks to the front of it. Yeah. Like 50 oh. 50. I'm like, uh, 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 we're all in line right here. Yeah. And then the person's like, oh, sorry. You Depend- know? By 50 50, you mean it depends on how big that person is. <laughs> it just depends on uh, several factors. Yeah. yeah. If it's an old lady or something, I'm like, let her go. Like, I don't care. Yeah. But what's the person you're going to go talk to? What do they look like? They're fat. <laughs> they look like me. <laughs> Fuck you. <Yeah. laughs> if Scotty cut you in line, you would be like, Fuck you, buddy. Yeah. Absolutely. I would expect you to do that Take to me. Take your leprechaun ass to the back. But that's the thing. Like, from like we're on the tee box, and they're 310 yards away. I am talking so much shit on yeah. the tee box, though. Yeah, right. Anyways, all right. Next one uh, comes in from Jeremiah Joyner. He wants to know, where do you draw the line? How many kids by different babies' daddy, is, or too many baby daddies, is too many for a single mother? One. Whoa. Yeah. How many kids by different baby daddies? Yeah. Like how many, many different baby how many different baby daddies, baby daddies is too many? So I feel like I can't be judgy here because if I could get pregnant, oh, I would have. <laughs> what the fuck? I would have like a fucking whole fucking no. multi. I would just have so many kids. If you kids, could, dude. if you, you could, would have you would, a, a you would protect yourself. You would probably. You. Yes, you would. If you could get pregnant, you wouldn't Look, do anything. Getting pre- what's getting What's worse, getting pregnant or death? Getting pregnant. Why would you have death? Well, because what, I mean, what he's saying is I would protect myself 
from getting someone pregnant or having someone get me pregnant. Yeah. But I didn't protect myself from fucking AIDS. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So what's Valid. worse? Well, babies are worse than AIDS. I think so, too. I agree. Yeah, I think so, They're too. They're way more responsibility. Yeah, you got, yeah. You got a lot more responsibility. I, I wish I had to take my baby medicine once a day <laughs> and everything else was totally normal. Right. Oh, uh, Jesus. No, but how many is too many? Like if you, uh, if, To you, me, you're, one. You, you're on a if date. I, if I am looking on Facebook dating, it says, like, kids or no kids. If it says kids, that's a strike uh-huh. in my mind. I'm like, I don't want to step in and be a fucking... Stepdad. Yeah. And have them be like, you're not my real dad anyway. And yeah. I think two. Two baby Two's daddies? too many. Like, one's fine. Like, if you have one kid with one guy. Yeah, with a previous with marriage. another guy, that's fine. Because that's kind of what the dating scene looks yeah, like for right. our age right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you go to this chick and she's got three kids and they're all different dads. That's a fucking could red imagine, flag. Could you imagine her having to interact with those three guys because oh. that's her baby daddy? God, that just oh, sounds like fuck. so yeah. much work. Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I think if you have, if you, if you get a divorce and you have, uh, you know, a couple of kids from the same guy, it's like totally understand the marriage didn't work out. That's like, okay, that's fine. But if you have, I don't understand it. I'm going to go with, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to, like, I'm going to mm, go you're with, you're tainted. I'm going to go with two. <laughs> I want to go with two. If you've got two baby daddies, that's yeah, that's, that's two. Right. Unless you're married to that new baby daddy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That, right. Then that's okay. Oh, that's a good question. Though. That was. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So next, hit me up, ladies. Unless you got kids. <laughs> unless you got kids, and go fuck yourself. Unless you got kids, or you're fat, or both. <laughs> that's still pretty fucking funny. Or over thirty. Right. Uh, next one comes in from John Flanagan. He wants to know at what point it, oh my God, I can't read today. At what point is it time for you to replace your favorite sleeping pillow? I've had the same one for 15 years, probably 15. Uh, I think maybe even longer. I have the pillow that I was given whenever I was born. I was going to, I remember when I bought the 36. pillow. Six. I bought two pillows with my first JC Penny credit card that they gave me at age 18. Mm-hmm. And one of them was used to support a man's head laying in the middle of the highway after he drove his three wheel motorcycle into the back of my Dodge Caravan and oh, broke his leg. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. But I was just like, here's a pillow. <laughs> and then he fucking bled on it and shit. And I was like, I've had this. Anyway, I still have one left. I fucking sleep on it every single night. Yeah. So it's that old. And it's it's is it flat yet? Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. It's yep. flat. I mean, it's perfectly yes. it's perfect for my head. Yes. And I bring it with me on the road too, because I can't lay on a fat ass fucking Absolutely. hotel it's pillow. Just, it's just weird. But yeah, I have I think it's weird <laughs> that you have them. <laughs> I mean, I, once you find the one, man, it's the one. Man. It's hard to. That's it's gross. the one. If they, if you could get a culture of that fucking, what's all in your fucking. No, pillow, it's fine because I wash oh. it every. <laughs> yeah, we still three years. You still wash it. I bleach it every three or four years. Now the pillow. I wash it all the time. The pillow case but I is gone. It as the, well. the, oh, pill, the original pi- pillow the case. case is gone. It it it, it withered away. Like it oh, it man, disintegrated. This is a weird but, question. Yeah, but, but yeah, it, good for but you no. guys. Like everybody has that that birthing blanket, right? No. Oh yeah, your grandmother didn't make you a fucking quilt. Yeah, I'm sure, but uh, I yeah, it's in a closet sure. somewhere. Yeah, or okay. Something. All right, I mean, don't yeah. don't fucking snap at me. You know that that shit exists, but and I don't you have, have, the have same yours too. Fucking pillow for fuck's sake. Pillows, Good God, pillow, you gotta buy thing. a new pillow like once a year at least. No. What? You're yeah, fucking, no you're way, fucking dude. Crazy. No. Out of your fucking mind. <laughs> yeah. This is where I get fed up. <laughs> I will use the same pillow, god damn it. <laughs> That's fucking great. All right. Uh, next one comes in from one of my favorite names. Uh, he, this is coming in from Jacob Dubravkak. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. Dubravkak. What did you say it was? You, you you made it last week. I don't remember what it was. Does rub the cock. Does rub the cock. That's right. Uh, but Jacob, uh, he wants to know, what is the acceptable acceptable amount of pages on a porn site to go through until you find the one? Mm, it depends. I have a I use a de- a video downloader app, and I'll go through and click on like four or five in a row and just download them. 
Because then I'm like, if I'm in a hotel with no Wi-Fi, then at least I've got some <laughs> downloaded porn. Dude, really, you don't need a whole porn. You just need <laughs> clips, man. And yeah. you can get those for free online. Right. Like, you don't got to download movies. Oh, I don't pay for anything. Sure. I don't care if you're paying for it or not. If you're watching a full porn I'm movie. I'm not. I don't. I, what do you think? I'm, like, following the story and shit? Maybe. I just, That's I what I'm trying to through. figure out. I skip the blowjob stuff unless she's exceptional at it. <laughs> I have never downloaded porn. Porn. Really? Why? Because you don't have to. Because sometimes you don't have Wi-Fi and you want to jerk off and you have no connection because you're in a shitty Use hotel. Your imagination. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm proud of it. I'm just saying that's what I do. I feel like those situations where you don't have Wi-Fi are probably so fucking few and far between that you could just use your imagination, man. Or you could Dude, use some, your fucking data. Just use your data in some, those situations. There's, <laughs> there's, some, there's things. some things you need to use your data for. <laughs> Okay, man. Then There's that. some states where you can't even click on like Pornhub or whatever. Oh, that's, that's true. Like, because of your location, that's, you're not allowed. You're to. not allowed to. Well. Certain states have have. Uh, and I'm like, damn porn. it! I want to jerk off in Mississippi. By God! <laughs> and then there you go, dude. Yeah, I don't. I'm all fine. right. And then you don't have to wait. There's no buffering or anything. You can just click through whatever. And they're only usually a few minutes long. Occasionally, I'll get like a 30-minute long what? one. Where the dude has a folders and folders of downloaded porn on his phone. I go through a delete phase like uh, every so often, too, okay. where I'm, I don't even look at the titles. I'm just like, delete, 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 delete. When Mike's phone dies, he grabs a fucking Sears catalog from 1996 right. and goes Whatever straight to the bra and panties section. Whatever it fucking no, takes. I, I have like four or five core memories okay. in my head <laughs> that, I, that I can go to in a, in a pinch wow but getting back to the fucking question when you do have wi-fi how many pages is it acceptable to scroll through before you get to the video you want to fucking jerk off to i jerk off to all of them <laughs> just that's different different Hour uh, long fucking, process yeah i mean you know yeah, that's no a, i go for a while i like to fucking yeah no no. Porn I definitely. I don't think there's a limit. There's like a fucking search bar at the top. It gives you yeah, the categories right. you want. You go to the fucking one that you want. That's yeah. it. It's, yeah, but sometimes the, the thumbnail <laughs> is a deceptive. That's yeah, true, too. <laughs> true too. That's yeah. true. <laughs> the fucking thumbnails. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, nah, no. Nah, there, there are definitely some poor memories. I'm with you on that. I def There's definitely videos in my head that i'll never forget so what are you saying four or five i'm gonna go with five yeah. i think that's a good happy medium you can I zone, say ten. you can zone in okay so five i'm guessing like each page is like what 10 or 12 videos before you have to click the next page yeah. so i'm thinking five you get you go through 60 if you can't find yeah. what you want to watch in 60 fucking videos then that's true that's too much yeah that that a good one. Sometimes yeah. you're not watching it. He's still trying to to, to get to a completion though. Sometimes you're like, I'm just gonna. I got nothing to do for a while. I, <laughs> let's just see if anything strikes my fancy. You know. I got nothing going on. And other times it's like a mission where I'm like, all right, I need to jerk off quick before nap time so I can get to this show on. Time I was tonight. gonna watch. I was gonna watch some game shows, but I've got all this porn downloaded on my phone. <laughs> Yeah, well, the downloaded porn is not just to peruse. It's for, uh, no, it's it's for game serious time. business only. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's wow. A, that's an immediate situation where you have to get it done in like two minutes. You can just go immediately Holy to your phone and get it. Holy shit, man. We like, we like to call that a quick draw jerk off. That's what All that right. is. That's great. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, Jake. Uh, Jacob Dub Rub, rub the Cock. Rub cock rubber. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, uh, next one, last one comes in from the very famous Taylor Moroski. Yeah, good to see her back. Uh, she's got two other questions on this episode, including, uh, or plus this one. Not a girl. Yep. Uh, Taylor wants to know, how long do you wait on hold until you hang up? As soon as they say, hold on, I hang up. No, come on. Nope, you got to be 100%. You I got to be realistic I on this. No, I am depends. realistic. I swear to God. If I call you and you say, hey, man, hold on just a second. I hang up. And when you're done doing whatever you're doing, you'll fucking oh, call you, me back. You're talking about oh, call no, waiting. No, that's like call waiting. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying on hold. Like when you, you're you calling to business. do like a business, like a warranty oh, and say, claim, and they say, and and you call the 1-800 number, okay. and they put you on hold. How long are you sitting on that fucking line until you talk to it a de representative? It depends on what the call is. Exactly. Insurance claim. Well, you got to fucking wait then, I guess. 
I, what yeah, else I, do you? I, I waited you for hours. Drive down to the fucking insurance office, I guess. No, I mean, but like they have online stuff too that you. Yeah. I, that's a bad. That's a bad example. I take that back. No, you, you're you're doing. You're wanting to get a hold of somebody to do something important, and they put you on hold. The IRS, dude. I was on hold okay. with them for yeah. several hours. Uh, and fuck I had to talk them. to them, so I was like, "I'm fuck them." I had to charge my headphones in the middle of the thing. Unemployment during COVID, I was on the phone for almost four hours once. Yeah, four but, uh, hours. But yeah. if somebody's like, "You need to call and and set up this subscription or whatever," I'd be like, "I ain't Kiss holding for that." No, fuck you. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, but yeah, with their like, if I'm like, I just got to get through this call, and then I have thousands of dollars, then I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna wait. So like for my job, we actually have to call like car warranties. You, uh, yours, yours is a good example. I had to make a claim on your your car yeah. for, for call a warranty company. Mm -hmm. Yours is actually pretty good warranty, so they don't do this to me. But there are car warranty companies to where they will put me on hold. My time is valuable, and they will put me on hold for an hour. <laughs> just in the That's hopes debatable. that you'll be like fuck it and hang yeah, out right. exactly yeah. and then so, you can never make your claim and uh -huh. you can't make your claim you can't take care right. of a customer the customer has invested money to have this particular warranty and i'm just like if it's over like 30 minutes i'm i'm saying something whenever yeah. i come back on a hold so yeah but yeah, uh, but anyways, that's where we draw the line. Guys, thank you so much for participating in Monday Fun Day for uh, both of these. These are normally the ones that we need are the never have I ever's. And then that's where I draw the line. So thank you guys for participating. It helps us out a lot. Thanks. Right. JP. Yeah, man, it does. <laughs> it does. You guys are awesome. They it's, are. It, it just gets better and better. And I like that we did a few new people today. Yeah, we did. We're trying to like do some newer stuff. So there's newer people. But here's the thing about the people that listen to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of new people not a lot of new people that are very bright you know, <laughs> oh maybe ouch if you guys could stop sharing our fucking links and shit like that to around special people? needs schools <laughs> that'd be great you know what i mean this is a no. show for intelligent show for intelligent people. People. very very intelligent yes. people and the only the and people me. that listen to this show are intelligent mm, not true yeah not, yeah i know it's not but yeah, that's okay all, but that's okay we're all just we a love bunch you guys of chunks yeah, of coal just, just love each this other. next guy's a real piece of fucking shit <laughs> speaking of now we get to move on to questions and preguntas uh and uh, we're gonna kick this off with the very funny Travis Cagle, who uh, go ahead and contact him for his uh, books that you know yeah, he makes <laughs> for us. The boy who cried weasel. That's right. Uh, but Travis Cagle would like to know what. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The strangest things you've yelled during an argument. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not real. Yeah, I don't think. I don't really remember. Most of my arguments are just me getting yelled at and then crying. <laughs> what? What the and the weird part is it's doing it into the mirror yeah just yeah. me to myself just you to yourself no yeah, like girlfriend stuff it's always me being a dick at normal volume mm -hmm. and then she yells and then i'm I just continue to be a normal volume dick uh -huh. I, I don't remember ever like shouting things yeah like, i don't i mean i'm sure i've said some really fucked up shit don't get me wrong oh yeah totally. i guarantee i have but i don't I don't remember. None that. of it's important enough right. to me that it's stuck in my head. There's probably a girl out there, though, that's like, oh, you absolutely oh, yeah. yelled oh, some terrible my shit. My exes know exactly the words that I said, <laughs> but I don't fucking know. I can tell you the worst or one of the worst things that happened to me after uh, breaking up with a girl who just a terrible breakup, terrible relationship. Uh, she texted me, uh, I'm going to destroy your life <laughs> one letter at a time. Oh, fuck. Wow. I send, A send, M send. Oh, God. Like, so it was just a 15 minutes So you got to kind of actually like, believe her, too, at that point. Oh, just, I did, yeah. yeah. That, like, if you're that fucking, Ooh. yeah. Yeah, so that <laughs> that always sticks out in my mind of, like, what's the craziest thing someone's Dude, ever texted to how long ago was you? that? Uh, it was 2013 or so. What if you were at a show and that bitch just showed up and was like, it's time. I'd probably Would hug you? her and fall back in love. Uh, okay. <laughs> Even though wow. she was there to destroy you? Uh-huh. Oh, no, she wouldn't be. She'd be there to be like, oh, hey, what's up? I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, I hardly even think about you, you know? Yeah. Okay. I, I told a guy one time that um, in every golf course in America, you're not allowed <laughs> to drive on the motherfucking green. And then you sped off like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
Um, anyways, uh, next one comes in from Braxton Lint. He wants to know, what's the first thing you'd do if you were the op- opposite sex for a day? Oh, my God. Probably I would be, be so whore. pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> I would be just impregnated once. I mean, over and over and over. I would test this this theory of multiple orgasms out. Oh. I, do you think, like... Like that, we got the short end of the stick on that whole ordeal. Oh, you can't have multiple orgasms. No. What the hell's wrong with you, man? I. What do you mean? You're just what like a one mean? and done guy. Yeah. Who? Oh, I can go like three or four times. Oh well, what? I mean, I can, but I got to have like a fifteen to twenty minute break in between. I have to have a reason to go. <laughs> three I or do. Four times. Yeah. I, I mean. For I me, mean, it's yeah. like, uh, I'll have good plans at the beginning. <laughs> yes. Good intentions. Where, where I'm like, all right, like right, I'm definitely going to come really quick the first time. Yeah, but then, right. then give me a minute, and yeah. then we'll do it again. And that second time is going to be awesome. And then I come the first time, and I'm like, now nah, I'm done. I'm yeah. done. Okay. I'm, it's, it's over. Done with. Uh, yeah, that's exactly right. Because I think that there has to be like a 20 to 30 minute break uh, in between orgasms for me. But yeah, I think if you were the o- opposite sex, I'd like to try that out. I think that'd be fun. No, I would probably just play with myself. I'd play with my Because I, I wouldn't be gay yeah. or or whatever you call it when you're a girl and want a <laughs> dude to fuck you. I think you call it gay. <laughs> <laughs> If, if I turned into a girl and then fucked a dude, I would just be thinking, like, this is gay. Mike Mike would video record himself in the mirror to shake it yeah, down right, and then right. save it and to his I, phone. I would, yeah. And then I would jerk you off to myself You don't need to download later. porn anymore. <laughs> I guarantee there's somebody watching that's like, oh, yeah, I do the download thing, too. It's, oh, yeah, it's so I much know. quicker and easier. Yeah, I know. Maybe yeah. it's like screen record or some My shit. Oh, God. Yep. Yeah, anyways. Okay, next one comes in from Ian Hodder. He wants to know rejected family feud categories. That show has gone downhill, man. Shit. It used to be like genuine questions. Name something you'd find at the grocery store, yeah. like yeah. things like that. And now it's like all like sexual name innuendos something and... you can stick up yourself. Yeah, that, right. <laughs> and then they say like a dildo, and then Steve Harvey's like, Whoa. and then it's number one. I can't one. believe you would yeah. say that. And then it's. Bing, number one. And then he's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's all fucking. We got a good one for you today. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Steve That, that kind of sounded like him. That was a good one. It's like it's like, like, like the drafts that we've had that are severely questionable. Yeah. It's like, name your favorite serial killers. Like, <laughs> like, like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm like me when I want cereal a bunch. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Name a name a celebrity that would molest your child. <laughs> <laughs> that P Diddy, P- Bing! Bing! <laughs> number one answer. Oh shit! Uh, I'm gonna go with Bill Cosby. Bing! Number two. Good answer. Good, good, answer. Answer. good answer. Good answer. Would they applaud though? They would. Yeah, probably, they do. They, they do. would they boo do. the answers. Oh, no, they, yeah, they applaud. That's, that's true. All right. Uh, and now we get to go to Jacob Dubrovkak uh, again. again. Yeah, rubbing the cock, dude. Kid. Uh, he wants to know, what's the worst thing you've ever done for money? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not prostitution. <laughs> 100% not that. Me either. Bullshit. I, I, I mean, really? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I would not have been surprised. No, I've done way worse. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've never had sex with somebody for money. I mean, for drugs and stuff, sure. Oh, yeah. But that's not that's prostitution. Not Remember, he was, a, he was a meth addict was for two amazing. weeks. Yeah. Just, it was like five and a half months. So. Oh, okay. Well, wow. But, okay. Uh, the worst thing I've ever done for money, probably some of the shows that I've done. Yeah. It was sexually related, I uh, guess. I'm sure, yeah, for you. Yeah. I'm not shocked. Oh, I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> I'd... Yeah, good question, Jacob. <laughs> no, I think it's a great uh, I question. I need to go talk to my therapist. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I need to book an appointment. I need to call Steve and find out what that guy's name was that he was seeing. Oh, yeah. No, I um, <clears throat> I got paid to go on a double date once. I've gotten paid to go on a date. Really? What, how? My buddy paid me to yeah. go because if he didn't find somebody to date the other chick, yeah. then he couldn't go out with Same, the girl he wanted uh, yeah. Exact situation. And good he fellas, gave me, time he or paid whatever. For, he paid for everything throughout the night yep. and gave me 100 bucks. He gave me, my, uh, my buddy gave me 50 bucks. Yeah. And did the date know? 
Were no, you like, I'm no, only doing no, this because no, he's no, paying no, me? No, no, no. That no. would make me feel like yeah, shit. Yeah, no, I, no, I never told. And and yeah. she she was a fucking whale. Like, it, it was so bad. Mine, too. <laughs> See? Oh. That's, you had, t- that's dude, how you know. Is, is, part oh. of the deal was, like, we, we we had a talk. We talked on the phone first. Did, did he tell you that she was a whale? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Of course and not. you're like, what do you look like? And dude, she's like, oh, I'm she like five, said, three, like she triple said, D tits. And you're like, oh, yeah. fuck, that yeah. sounds she, great. Dude, she said she looked like Janet Jackson. <laughs> Are you quoting Friday right now? No, no, no. She did say that. I swear. Bitch showed up looking like like Freddie Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, she was not. She looked like fucking Free Willy. Oh, God. It was horrible. But actually, but JP walked into the fucking restaurant, saw who his date was, and was like, later, Craig. That was it. Yeah, yeah. No. Bye, Felicia. Uh, but yeah, no, that that definitely has happened. Uh, so now uh, we get to move to Taylor Morosky. That isn't the worst thing I've ever done for I, money. I, I don't want but to that's know. One thing. I don't want to know all right. at all. That'd be a fun category. Questions we won't even answer. <laughs> right? That, <laughs> yeah, there's one. There you go. Uh, we get two in a row from Taylor Morosky. She wants to know first phrases that take courage to say for the first time. Uh, my friend is paying me to be on this date with you. <laughs> I, yes. hope you, I hope you respect all the courage that it took for me to <laughs> accept <laughs> and tell you. Absolutely. It's fucking great. I love you, I think, would be the yeah. number one answer. Yeah. That takes courage. Yeah. Why is your butthole so big? <laughs> oh, it takes some courage? <laughs> yeah. Oh. You can't just go lead with that. You oh, got to be yeah. like, oh, yeah, this is tight. Yeah, you're you're great. I now, don't. Does your vagina happen? always smell like right. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this a fluke? Yeah. Uh, I I will honestly say I think I, it always does. I have never heard my wife say this, and we are coming up on ten years of marriage. Uh oh, I was wrong. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. I'm the you're first wrong. one to say that I'm wrong when I'm wrong. Well, I, that's because you're the only one that's wrong, right? Obviously, I will say it. That she does. I will say correct. it. I will say it when I know for a fact that I am not wrong and I am right. But I don't want to. You know, fight with my wife. Understood. So, and yeah. that's, and when you get married, you just got to accept that, man. You're a good man. She's always right. Next one uh, is again from Taylor. She wants to know something adventurous couples would have sex on top of. Other adventurous couples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's good nice. shit. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I, uh, the last time I had sex with a girl was on top of the roof at Quick Trip at Central and Oliver. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. That's, that's so, so I guess romantic. I'll go with a roof. Well, and you're an adventurous person, so yeah. I'd say I guess that, I'll go yeah, with a roof. Go with a roof. Uh, let's see. I would say, like, adventure, uh, adventurous people will have sex on top of the um, airplane bathroom toilet seat. Mm. Okay. I would, I, in like a public airplane. I don't know. Yeah, I it's on top of I on top of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. There you go, something like that. Something there like go. that. Top of the Empire State. I had building. sex yeah. on a trampoline once. Yeah, but me too. That is really difficult. It really it's wasn't. Not. It wasn't. Yeah. It's actually easier. <laughs> yeah, it was it's way there was a, easier. There was no. a lot of like. Uh, Again, it's been a long time. Motion provided yeah, dude. that it's I didn't really? have to. Yeah, oh, we got yeah. a good. We got a good bounce yeah, going. That's the it's like thing. double it's bouncing the, somebody. You got exactly. You just have to keep in the right rhythm. Oh no, it was pretty fun. I thought. I thought it was kind of difficult because like her bounce was like boing boing well then boing. she was too large <laughs> yeah because that trampoline shouldn't fucking yeah uh, no. yeah, no, yeah no. it was like the the mat was touching the earth right that, that's <laughs> yeah, normal right that's normal right <laughs> all right and last one comes in from joe garnett he wants to know what sport would be instantly better if the athletes were covered in baby oil porn <laughs> the sports that's water sports. that's my favorite sports. water sports one of my water favorite sports? porn categories oh, is when they have oil on them <laughs> i just like a nice slick looking chick you know <laughs> dart. obviously football <laughs> darts yeah darts darts for sure <laughs> pool billiards ultimate bowling. frisbee yeah <laughs> bowling yeah frisbee golf yeah all of that all of that would be absolutely fantastic welcome to baby oil bowling <laughs> brought to you by steel toed boots because there's gonna be a lot of drop balls 
because we all got baby oil all over us. That's fucking great. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. That's awesome, Mike. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Thank you guys so very much for participating in Monday, Friday. We sincerely do appreciate it. Uh, but now we get to move on to uh, the part where JP has to defend his honor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Very nice. Okay. We're making his job so much easier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Before we get to the draft, after we get done with the questions, we go and take a break. These two guys smoke. We go outside. We have a little bit of a conversation. And uh, this, streak, this week's draft uh, was... <laughs> Was I don't know um, <clears throat> what do you call that supported or I don't know we decided to do this draft because it was suggested to us by Keith Litsky so thank you very much Keith but uh, we ended up having a conversation and, and a story came out of it from Mike um, this week's draft is worse smells by the way mm-hmm. um, Mike what you get second pick uh, but uh, JP has won. Uh, how many weeks in a row? Four weeks in a row. He's the four-time champ. That's a champ. ham bone, baby. <laughs> he is a four-time champ, and uh, he has to defend his <clears throat> belt. I'm going for five. You are going for five. Uh, I, I, I get first pick because I came in dead last. Mike uh, gets the sandwich picks, but I am not going to take Mike's first pick. I didn't even pick that. Somebody else said it before... So, oh, so that's not even one of my answers. Okay, well, when we get to that pick, okay, then it's gonna uh, okay. the cat's gonna be out of the bag. Then I have to tell a story. Yes, you no. have to tell a story and make JP extremely uncomfortable. All I'm right. gonna go. Dude, I was hungry. <laughs> I am gonna go with body odor. Mm. Mm. Bo yeah. bad. Bo is the yeah. fucking worst smell to me. Dude, I had these two girls that came in and ate maybe a month ago. Oh, they were big girls anyway, but dude, I, oh, I don't even, I don't even, I can't even imagine how long it had been since yeah. they showered it. You you could smell it clear across the restaurant and then having to be up next to them to take them their food or to take their order or whatever. Yeah. Mm. Dude, it was like nausea. I yeah. went to the back and threw up. It's awful. It was that bad. I had to visit my brother-in-law today oh. and I question whether or not he bathes on a regular basis. It's Man. absolutely disgusting. That was Man, I hope he doesn't watch the what? show. The gay one? No. Okay, I he was like, dude, like, that's fucked but... up. You're trying to hook me up with... That's No, fucking... that's the uncle. That's <laughs> oh, the gay the uncle. uncle. Okay. No, brother-in-law, Gunkle. it would be an absolutely worthless human being That'd who be a bunkle. possibly doesn't shower. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mike, you get to make your pick. What do you got? Um, I don't want to take... Go ahead. I got plenty. Uh, do I whatever can... you got to do. Just I can't just say the word by itself because I don't because some of them are wonderful. Um, so I'll just say gross vagina, stinky snatch. Mm, yep, the kind that gets in your seats <laughs> and you have my, to power wash the inside of your car. My answer is gross vagina. So okay. make sure that you write that on the I thing will, and I don't will. write some made up thing that I didn't say. Stinky snatch. Yes. Why not? Because I don't. People won't vote for stinky snatch. They'll don't vote. vote for gross vagina. <laughs> vagina, yes. Speaking of gross vagina, <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, tell us your story, tell man. Tell us your story, Mike. Well, you when we were outside, Scotty said uh, period blood <laughs> was one of the worst smells, and my response was, I don't, I don't think it smells different than any regular blood. I was like, but it tastes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Because I was, oh, I was, no, no. I was. With, we were at a party, and a, me and a, a, my girlfriend at the time were in my friend's <laughs> sister's bed, and it was just pure darkness in the room. And I just went down on her, oh. and didn't even think about it, and we didn't realize until I got up and went to the bathroom, and I turned on the light in the bathroom, and it was just like clown makeup, basically, <laughs> and like in between each tooth and shit, like. 
It was fucking gross, man. He looked like the it guy. Oh. And then I went back into the room, and at this point, she had the light on in the room and was like, oh, no. And I was like, let's just make the bed and get out of here. And she was like, no. She did laundry in the middle of the night. Yeah, that was uh that wasn't the worst part of the story, man. <laughs> what was the worst part? When you said you had it in between your teeth. He right. Said, he said that. He did. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was. And it was it like I Oh, it looked like he'd been eating spaghetti without a fucking fork. <laughs> His face first. Just drinking uh, yeah. spaghetti. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. Oh. All right. But not on my list. <laughs> not on my list. It wasn't as bad as you think. Oh, shit. That's All fucking right. funny. <clears throat> All right. Uh, JP, uh, now while you're in the mood of absolutely disgusting uh, stuff, uh, what are your two worst smells? Uh, I'm going to go with dog farts. Oh. Dog farts are the worst, so dude. Dog farts are pretty Oh, gross. they're fucking bad. They're bad, but you love them. No, <laughs> you <laughs> don't. No, you don't. You love the dog, but that's no. And uh, baby shit. Oh, uh, yeah, that does. It's oh, like, it, God. It, it does because it smells like a oh, mix between fucking shit and, awful, and like dude. baby and powder. It's, it's just oh. fucking awful. Oh. Baby shit is, I've thrown up more than I care to oh, say. Yeah. yeah. All right, Mike. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Do you have any other stories you can attach to a fucking pick? God, I, hope I do not. have. I have another smell story. Yeah. Okay. I, me and my friend Josh got arrested for bashing mailboxes. I think I feel like I've told this story. Uh, yeah, you have yeah, told that yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. All right. So rotten eggs uh, is yeah. definitely oh, one it. of my answers. Yep, I had a, a full one. carton of eggs broken and thrown good, into the cab of my good '86 answer. Ford Ranger, and good that thing answer. smelled like farts for years. <laughs> yeah. Somebody explain something to me. What? Because rotten eggs and deviled eggs smell oh, exactly no, the don't. same. Not even Not close. Not even close, dude. man. Oh, they, no. they smell the exact deviled same. Eggs. You just fucking leave deviled eggs alone. No, man. fuck them. That's a shitty fucking do you snack. Like, do you like oh, egg good. salad? Love no, it. No. no, so you just don't like eggs that much. I love scrambled eggs. Okay. I love, love eggs. So you scrambled love the eggs five year old version of eggs. 100%. All right. Men never grow up. They just grow old. I'm five. I act like I'm five. Yeah, I would eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with guys' barbecue chips on it every day. Yeah, if, see? If, if I didn't think it would cause me an early d demise. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go with my next pick. I get two in a row. I'm going to go with spoiled milk. God, that was one of mine. That is fucking disgusting. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. is. I, I'll and never. And it never goes away, and man. It, it, yeah, and it, it, it takes away your appetite. You want to know how yeah. I know? Because one of my favorite things to eat when I'm editing this episode or th these episodes at two o'clock in the morning is it, almost rotten milk. No, it's uh. Kraft macaroni and oh, cheese. Yeah. Oh, oh, did you put bad milk? In oh a, God, oh, it was so good. terrible. I was so hungry and I was so excited for Kraft macaroni and cheese. I Ruined put the butter it. in there and then I got milk. And I didn't read the fucking expiration and poured you fucking it. curdled you milk. All that time. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, guess that's what? Horrible. Scotty that's didn't eat anything that night. No. Sure didn't. Mm. Yeah, that's gross. But I think, and this is my honest number one pick. If I could pick anything at all, this would be number one. This actually kept me from being an EMT for much longer than I was, and that is puke, yeah. vomit. Yeah. It, it, dude. Vomit is the worst fucking ugh, smell ever. It, it Somebody pukes, I'm going to puke. That's just the way it's going to work. I remember I was drunk one time after a comedy show, just stumbling around, and I had... I'll tell the end of the story first, and then you'll infer the middle. Mm -hmm. I ended up puking, and this guy came into the bathroom, and he goes, smells like spaghetti in here. <laughs> and it was because that's what oh, I had God for dinner. So, but he said it like, hey, where's the spaghetti at? And I was just like, no, that's just my hot puke that you're smelling. <laughs> mm. Yeah, face all in that spaghetti, yeah. baby. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even swish it. I had to floss. Oh, I had to floss oh, it out. Oh god damn it. <laughs> no. Oh shit. Oh.
All right, whose turn is it? It is yours, Mike. You get the next pick. Ugh. What were my first two answers? Well, stinky snatch and rotten eggs. Do you, you're, you keep saying <laughs> stinky snatch. I feel like you're not going to put the right answer on the thing. I will. I'll actually I, I go back and listen I to it. I only know this from myself, <laughs> but one of my answers is dirty dick. <laughs> Schmegma, if you will. Oh, That's dirty dick. I talk about it on stage sometimes, where I'm not, I'm like I'm not gay or anything, but if somebody is like, "Hey, would you ever suck a dick?" I'm like, my first thought is, it's not a dirty dick, is it? Because definitely not. Then maybe one fresh out of the shower or whatever, but. No, like my. Uh, you really don't want your first pitch to be sn- stinky snatch and dirty dick as your third. How do you not want those as your first two p- or your first three picks? What's that word called? Uh, where where the synonym or the s- words start with the same letter? Alliteration. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's stinky snatch. I don't know. Gross vagina. Still. Okay. All right. I've, I'm not as strong on that. Now. Okay. There so you go. <laughs> I'm kind of on your side because yeah, dirty dick is a. It, dirty see, dick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, mm. Stinky snatch and dirty dick. Uh, yeah, a good pick there, Mike. Uh, JP, you get two in a row. I'm gonna go with smegma. Smegma. Is uh, that how is that different than dirty dick? I don't know. It's cheesy dick. I, smegma <laughs> is what makes a dick, dick dirty. dirty. No, I not think only. So. Okay, I, well, I'll just play in the mud I think or so. whatever. I think it's the same uh, thing. Right. It absolutely um, is. That doesn't count. Yeah. I'm gonna go with honestly. Like I've got it. I know a couple people that bad breath. Oh, I'm gonna go damn with bad it. breath. That was another one of mine that I was hoping would come back. Is that is awful yeah that's, that's fucking awful. rotten tooth smell is yeah. oh yeah. yeah that's what causes the bad breath i know yeah that's you know. how that's how i know when i've uh floss i've been flossing often enough is when my floss doesn't fucking stink yeah, yeah. Mm. you know gingivitis is the number one cause of all tooth decay <laughs> <laughs> all right that's uh you got bad breath what's your next pick um Man, I got I got one more, but I don't want to do it to last. I got one too, and I I, I got one. I don't want y'all to get <sighs> really bad smell. Oh, I would say a rotting carcass. Like, oh, uh, oh, damn yeah. it! Yeah, dead animal. Dead animal. Yeah, yep. that's good. I that's was bad. I was gonna say dead body, but dead yeah, animal is the same. Way. Same thing. A dead animal body. Same thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, but that's that was yeah. one of mine too. Because right. if you ever have, like, we actually had to. Obviously, whenever whenever somebody passes away, we always get called. That, that what well, I say, we. I'm not an EMT anymore, so never mind. But when I was an EMT, I actually had to come in on a K on a, a call, and that person had been dead for like two days. Dude, oh, dude. it's awful. Oh, it's, awful. Mm-hmm. it's my. Oh, it's it's, it's life changing. It is. It's fucking yeah. terrible. All right. All right, Mike. One. You got two more. What's your next pick? <coughs> um. <clears throat> When I drive through a town that has a bunch of cows in it. Oh, damn it. And the whole fucking town smells. Cattle smells like pens. shit. Yeah, it does. Garden City, Kansas, which is where I was born yeah. in. is my hometown. Cattle but yeah, pens. Pig pens. It's true. It does. It smells like money is what it That's, smells like. That's what they say. That's what we grandma, say. My grandma owned a bowling alley also. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a big, big bowling family here. But uh, she had some farmers come in one time and they had shit all over their shoes and they came in and she told them to go back out and take their boots off and then come back in and he goes ma'am that's money you're smelling that's exactly and she right goes, she goes no that's cow shit <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, i don't want to no. smell it get out yeah all right so you guys did not take uh my my pick that i was hoping to come back so thank you very much because i get two in a row is it bull semen nope it's okay. in, inside of a porta potty mm, okay yeah cool. yeah so I'll take that. Yeah, good one. Now my last pick, I don't, I don't really know, because I'm weird and I, I, I mean, like the smell of certain things that a lot of people don't really like. Uh, so I don't want to pick any of that because I think I've got a strong list. Well, yeah, you should have a strong list. You're on fucking. I'm the first pick. chat GPT. Well, no, <laughs> looking the, up the bad first, smell. You can't even smells. come up with the your own fir- fucking No, the first, smells. the first three, or actually, all four of mine, I, I, I kind of picked. I just needed reminders. Um, but uh, I am. What I, does that even mean? <laughs> I, okay. I, I, Are you gonna pick? Yeah, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna go with burnt hair. Yeah, that's a bad one. It yeah. does smell. 
But yep. yeah, that I is that is pick. my final pick. I would say that's a good pick, but I can't because it's not that great. Oh, it's oh, but dude. It's, it's fine. It's good. It's it's okay. A, it's, it smells terrible. Okay. Can my answer just be shit in general? <laughs> <laughs> well, that what do you think is no. inside of a porta potty? Valid. Yeah. Okay. So not shit. Yeah. Because um, I kind of stole the I stole it with that one. Well, mine's kind of really. I mean, I'm using mine whether you like it or not. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see. No, about we will that. see. I'll um, fucking storm out of here. All right. So there's bo- one obvious pick, but body odor. We've passed. yeah. No, no. There's uh, there's one that's an obvious pick, but I can't pick it because of something. Um. I don't want to say all pee, but maybe like old pee. That's stale urine was another uh, pick of mine. Yeah. Oh, do you already picked it? No, 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 no. You could definitely take that one. That was on my list. That was like on my short list. A stale urine. Urine. I don't want it to say stale urine. Okay. We'll we'll just say old urine. Old pee. Okay. Old Old pee. pee. Okay. I'll go with old pee for Mike. Old pee for the win. (laughs) (laughs) So that's pretty much any time you pee regularly jp yeah, yeah <laughs> it's yeah. a old pee <laughs> no i but like, not like pee in a toilet but like if somebody pees on a carpet or something oh, yeah. you know and oh yeah like a dog i guess but also yeah. a person yeah. i i peed on a dog once at a party <laughs> good <laughs> deal of course you did just because i was an, that's why i don't drink because i'm an asshole yeah. and i i find funny things to do that <laughs> are, are just more mean than funny and i still to this day remember Fucking, I'm not going to say his name, but he came into the, and he goes, who pissed on my fucking dog? And I was just quiet. I just stayed quiet. What the fuck, Mike? It walked right into the stream. I barely had to move. (laughs) The dog had a fetish. Uh, (laughs) JP's still fucking trying not to puke from the period. Oh, the teeth. (laughs) (laughs) Mm. So good. What is Mm. your last pick, JP? The cup from Two Girls, One Cup. <laughs> yeah, you fucking asshole. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I'll allow that I one. I will allow it, yeah. Oh, okay, so there is one that we did not. Yeah, I know, JP. Yeah. Good attempt, buddy. Good attempt. Good attempt. I, I don't know. I, I kind of like Mike's list, too. If what's long, yeah, what's the down. one obvious one that you that nobody yeah. picked? Skunks. Yeah, but oh uh, no, I saw skunks on on your list, and I don't. I love the smell of skunk. It smells like good weed. Okay. Oh Anytime no. Anytime I smell a skunk, it I'm depends just like, on how uh, close you are to the skunk smell. Hold, no, hold on. There is actually this is dead. I'm dead ass serious about this. If you smell a oh, skunk, oh, that's my answer. Dead ass. Dead ass. <laughs> dead ass. <laughs> that was actually my answer. It is. It's right up there. Uh, but no, anytime that you're driving and you smell a skunk, somebody hits a skunk and you can smell it through your car, mm-hmm. immediately don't think skunk, think coffee. And then it'll smell like coffee 100%. To you. Yeah. Wow. It's really weird. Yeah. It's something that, that it's your a brain, brain thing, yeah. And the other thing is, is if you're like sitting there going, Scotty, you're full of shit. I tried it and it doesn't work. Um, there are actual very expensive coffees that they legitimately take the beans and it's beans that have been shit out by other animals it, and it has an aroma. That's totally true. Hmm. And But I'm not even kidding. If you smell a skunk, think, think coffee and it will trick your brain into going oh that smells I, like I coffee. if you don't weed. like the smell of coffee you're fucked <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't drink coffee but i love the smell yeah. of coffee but anyways ladies and gentlemen that is our draft for this week go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for the list that you like the most of the worst fucking smells on the face of the planet <sighs> stinky snatch is up there um, but uh, you can also go to X, uh, which is at LOT Sidelines, and vote there as well. We sincerely do appreciate it. Thank you guys for doing that. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by some very nice people that invited us to 
their wedding. Oh. Another wedding invitation. We got another wedding invo- yes, invite. Yes, we did. I really wanted to go to that last one. Man. I know you, you did. Do it. I know. I don't want to go to whatever it is, <laughs> wherever. So Sarah Jean Clements uh, messaged us and invited oh. us to now you go. her uh-huh. wedding. Well, here's the thing. Uh, these, these two folks actually listen to our podcast together. I love that. Which I think is kind of That's funny. Cool. Because normally, like, you have the guy. The guys always love our show, but the the woman, I feel like, is just, like, drug through it. You know, she, right. It's like, holy fuck. Babe, listen to this. Hey, you got to yeah. listen to this. This is something really funny. Come on. You're going to love this gay dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, actually, that's probably why uh, we got <laughs> female No, listeners. no, he's fine. He's yeah, gay. He's, he's yeah. gay. No, he's totally fine. Honey. Uh, but no, they, they invited us to their wedding, uh, which is in August in um, in Princeton, Texas, which we looked up from Wichita, Kansas is five and a half hours. Oh, and it's far enough out that but we I'm don't not, have to go. <laughs> but I'm not going to rule it out yet. OK, I'm not going to rule it out. But I did want to give them a shout out. Thank you guys right very much. Congratulations. That's really, even yeah, if we that's, don't yeah, make yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's really Really fucking awesome. And if things don't work out, then which then they look won't, me up. because yeah. marriage and love is all <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, you don't have to get married. You don't <clears throat> have to. But that would be a fun like wedding night thing to do. Is is get uh, fucked by all of us. Oh yeah, that's like uh, uh, what, what do you what do what do they call that when the kings would do that? Uh, prima nocta. Yeah, prima nocta. Prima, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the word fuck came from, according to some historians. Oh, really? <laughs> because they would write on the door uh, that they were fornicating under the consent of the king. Oh. And, and over the years, they just were like, fuck, and just wrote the acronym. Listen, I don't know. Look, if look at this guy. Look at this dude. I don't even know if that's true. That's just something I heard somewhere <laughs> once. If it is true, that's pretty I'm good. Smart. That's pretty fucking I'm good. Smart. <laughs> that, and if it's not true, I'm still kind of smart. Uh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> just not in yeah. that category. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> At the fornication under the consent of the king. That's the most uh, like used word everywhere. So, yeah, that's awesome. All right. Uh, but this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is Ugh, would you gross. rather every time you have to take a shit, you have to take it in a public porta potty mm. or. Every time you go down on your girlfriend, she is on her period. JP, you have to answer this as if you were a straight guy. Well, then I'm going porta potty <laughs> still uh, all day long. I know, I, and I, I'm not gonna like it. Don't get me wrong; it's not something I want to fucking do. But uh, yeah, I still gotta go porta potty. I got to. I can't even imagine. Oh Jesus! Well, here's Christ. here's oh, my my I, stomach is no, literally you, Mike turning. I know, Mike. You get to answer last because okay. you actually have experience in With both. both. Of, both yeah. of these <laughs> so I can tell you right now, there have been uh, there have been a couple of times to where mm. um, I was doing the dirty and my wife who I, we thought were, was not on her period and ended up being on her period. And it is not a good experience. Uh, however, nope, there's no, however, it's mm. not a good experience. So I'm shitting taking, in I'm, I'm shitting in porta potties, dog all day. All well, day. I'm taking headphones. I'm watching YouTube. I'm, I don't I, what I, it takes, I, dude. I, I'll bring nose plugs. Nose I won't plugs. breathe for five minutes. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Well, if you're if you've got that commitment, then you might as well just go down on the girl. Plus, I love for five minutes. Plus, I love eating pussy, and if that happened, if that happened, I wouldn't ever want to do it again. (laughs) I don't even like eating tuna fish. Oh (laughs) man, that's why my answer is so simple. I will comfortably shit at home and just never go down on my girlfriend. Oh no, you you got problem solved. No, that's a good answer. No, that's such a horrible thing. Thing. It's a cop out, but yeah, it's a good answer. You will never get married, I'm, ever, dude. I'm 42 and single. Do you uh, think I've got them lining up for me or uh, anything? I mean, maybe uh, with the popularity that this podcast is I was, getting, I was you just might. Getting ready to say you're about to. You're about to. Re- you're going to start yeah. getting recognized in public places and people yeah. taking pictures with mm-hmm. you and all kinds of shit. It's going to be fucking amazing. Chicks rubbing their boobs on me and stuff. Absolutely. Yep. yep. All I'll, right. Fine. I'll go down on her. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fine. All right. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was an excellent episode. Uh, thank you guys for participating in Monday, Friday. It's always fun whenever we can include you guys in the show. 
Um, and you know, the, the whole point about that is me and JP are going to try to look for some newer people to select if we get yeah. some good suggestions. So if we haven't picked your stuff before, it's not keep, that keep submitting. Your, <clears throat> yeah. But submit going. new shit. If you've yeah. submitted the same thing like four or five times and still haven't got, then picked, you're a moron <laughs> and it's not that good. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. So keep submitting. Just, you know, don't be a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, but thank you guys very much. We do appreciate it, and we love having you guys be a part of the show. That's always really important. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... We hope that everybody you talk to, their breath smells like period blood. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Choosy moms. Choose Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> until next time, keep, keep laughing. laughing, assholes. We will see you all later. Take care. Bye.